Hello, welcome back. Okay, um, I believe we're on part two of the series. Um, I'm kind of just doing this all in like one stretch, but um, uh, our last video was uh, describing how to install um, manual partitioning on Debian 11. Um, so I have some custom configuration, full drive encryption. Uh, I left a partition open for recovery. Um, and I even went over uh, how to fix the not in the sudoers file bug and fixing your root password and using rescue mode shell. Um, very helpful information. Um, but since we have Debian installed and uh, since we covered getting SSH access, um, where we were previously logging in with the website, um, we don't have to use that anymore, except for one um, scenario. Um, and that's without having Dropbear. Um, so Dropbear is basically a, um, what would you call it, an SSH tool. Um, uh, but specifically, it's a server that allows you to SSH um, and decrypt your uh, file system partition remotely. Um, so it's kind of important for us because if we want to reboot our system, um, we're not going to be able to do that without using, let's say, the uh, VNC um, window at our host um, so we want to be able to do that from a shell um, over SSH um, so drop air is our tool um, that's going to get the job done and uh, once we set it up um, we can actually use the same keys and just uh, SSH a separate server and unlock the drive from SSH at our home just with the terminal so we're going to go ahead and uh, start with these steps here. So we're going to go sudo apt update. Oh, am I? Yeah, I'm in there. Just making sure I was actually. Hold on a second. I am not SSH'd in. Okay, let's do that again. So now that we um, actually have the sudoers problem fixed, um, we are just going to SSH as, as our user. Okay, so we're going to go sudo apt update. Now sudo apt, and I'm going to do a full upgrade. Um, just get everything in, and it, it, it is already. So now we're just going to do uh, sudo apt install drop there init ram fs. Make sure we do the um, init ram fs. And go yes. You can hear my cat howling. This is a typical morning thing. Okay, so it's uh, created our host keys, but we're gonna fix that. This is just a basic uh, setup that it's installing. So we're gonna customize it a little. So now we're going to go sudo nano, etc. Drop there. Well, actually, let's see if this file folder is actually the right one because some of these guides are using slightly different um, systems. And it looks like we have the file folders. So 
We're gonna go sudo nano config. If not, it's just in drop air slash init ram fs. I think that's yeah fs yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go drop air options. Um, we're gonna mostly use these, but we're gonna go i. We're gonna time it out at uh, six hundred, and then um, we're not gonna. Or yeah, yeah, we we'd want to disable port forwarding. Um, no, we don't need to do those. We're not gonna disable those. I'm just gonna do uh, port, and I use uh, two zero two two, and then. Uh, the S is going to be important. Um, make sure if you do the S that you've copied your SSH key, which we did in our last video, so that's fine. Um, but uh, don't include that if you use password. So, and the uh, I600 is um, basically how long you have to access it until it just shuts down. And then I think there's one more thing we add at the end. No, that's just a different file. Okay, so we did our options. And then we're going to go sudo nano, etc. init ramfs, tools, and init ramfs conf. So it's giving us this long um, IP string. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you could really screw this up. Um, I, for example, um, have three IPs on this server, um, but we're just going to use the root IP. Um, and just really be careful you get this right because you can lock yourself out of your system like you can m make the network not connectable and that sucks and then that's when you have to go into a boot image and um you know kind of like stat the file system remotely and edit this file again but um we're gonna get it right so we're gonna go ipv4 which uh, is our server IP. And then we're gonna go with the gateway, um, which in this case for me is um, just adding 254 at the end of the subnet portion. And then our gateway is 255.255.255.0, which is to basically guide it to the uh, gateway port. That's the net mask. And then we just do Debian. Which is fine, or actually no, um, that's that's not our host name. Um, it w would be in most cases, but we're gonna use satorinet.love, and that should be properly configured for me. Yeah, just checking for mistakes. Okay, we're good. Okay, and then the last step is. Uh, Update in a RAMFS. And we'll do it verbose just because it helps to see. And I had a typo, which I really got to check at the end of every <laughs> entry. Um, we're going to skip the portion of creating keys, um, cause I've already got my keys. Um, we're just going to, um, copy the authorized keys from our root folder into the drop air folder. So we're just going to go to, um, we're going to go sudo su. Oh, wrong window. Okay, we're skipping all that stuff. I'm just gonna 
you can use this guide um, to create your key, but um, we already have that. So we're gonna go sudo su, and we're gonna cd to root dot ssh, and if we ls, we have authorized keys. So we're gonna copy that, sudo cp authorized keys, and we're gonna copy it to etc, and it ramfs, and I believe the folder was, or sorry, dropper in a ramfs. And we'll just drop it in the folder like that. Okay, let me CD, etc. Drop there. Init ramfs. It's a hyphen. ls we have authorized keys we'll cat authorized keys and then we'll uh cat i'll just double check it matches our home and those match so that means that uh if i um SSH the server with the same key uh, for my root or for my user or even for my drop bear, it's going to use the same keys. So we're going to update the uh, init ramfs. And we don't need verbose. It's fine. And uh, last but not least, Um, we're just going to test it. Um, so normally, if you um, were to restart your server and you have Lux encryption, which you should have, um, because if you don't, a person can just run a rescue shell and open your system as a root user. So do that. Um, but otherwise, um, you wouldn't be able to um, decrypt your Lux drive or um, file system. So you need drop there to SSH the server that way. So we're going to reboot, or we're going to exit, or no, sorry, reboot, and we're going to add F to force. So as you can see, it's rebooting. And you'll be able to see both windows, just use, you can see what's happening in the background. Um, now, I'm going to actually um, open a new shell. And I'm just going to show you my config. So we're going to cd home.ssh config. Or we're going to um, cat. So I had already um, the drop bear one here. So same key as my um, user and root, um, same host name, but different port. So we changed that to 2022, um, and we've added that here. Um, it's going to be root user, and then um, all we would have to do now is to SSH um, SatoriNet uh, dropper. And it's going to bring us in. Let's go yes. We'll copy the fingerprint. Now remember, we turned password off, but we have already copied our keys. So there we are. We are in the drop air shell. Now we just have to go crypt root unlock and I typed that wrong and enter our passphrase and you'll see on the upper window I did it on both there we go it's gonna actually back us out of our dropper shell 
And then we can now SSH in as user or root. Just like that. I did not need to use the VNC window, which means I can close this bad boy out. And I can close this bad boy out. And that's it. Just like that. So there we go. Um, drop Baron at RamFS. Done. Um, we're going to add more videos to this. Um, I think I have somebody coming shortly. But um, I'm going to get to uh, section four, I guess. Um, and we're going to go through installing ThinLink. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one.